Ego Indigents Without Border, a socio-cultural organization, has begged the president-elect, Bola Tinobu, to intervene in the case of the former deputy president of the Senate, Ike Ekuromadu. The president of the group, Dr. Bernard Oshi, made the appeal in Abuja. Ekuromadu and his wife, Beatrice, were convicted by the United Kingdom Central Criminal Court, London, for organ harvesting. Oshi appealed to Tinobu and the incoming 10th National Assembly to look into the matter with a human face and prevail on the government of the United Kingdom to temper justice with mercy. He also called on the members of the diplomatic corps, particularly those of the United Nations, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America to come to the help of Ekuromadu. Your Excellencies, as you must have also concluded, this is one delicate matter that should move to the heart of any parent. Under such trying situation, any parent will be compelled to take steps, including seeking to for a donor to save the life of their child. It is purely a parental instinct. However, at this point, that conviction has been made. As concerned fellow citizens, we have monitored with keen interest the stern public and private service record of the distinguished senator as a lawyer, a philanthropist, politician, and a patriot. We are calling for your good offices to use every means available to, to you to prevail on the government of the UK to temper justice with mercy. We are not oblivious to the allegation against him. We are clearly aware that no structure of words can be articulate enough to end your indulgence. We are simply bending the knee, the knee and seeking leniency for the family locked away in a foreign land. Yeah. We are appealing that whatever pronouncement of punishment will be made should be put into consideration. The senator's parental instinct to provide care for his sick daughter, even at the distressing cost of having to seek for a kidney donor. Who she commended President Muhammad Buhari for his leadership and commitment to keeping the country united, particularly through the past difficult years.